so many participants i stuck in to join the anyway uh, first of all uh, i would like to thank you kiran sir for uh, giving such a opportunities to me to present the uh, i mean hands on training hands on training for artificial and uh, data science uh, really uh, when we when i was talking about like this kind of things really uh, uh, i got many experience in this regard i mean uh, artificial intelligence and data science really is doing good things but sometime when we talk about this uh, it has some disadvantage also uh, in future definitely it is going to get some demerits also so we are going to get uh, uh, even it is like look like intelligence sometime it has some disadvantage also so studies are going on there okay so today uh, i will be giving some preparatory lectures so preparatory lecture means uh, how to uh, initiate the uh, artificial intelligence based project it is like multidisciplinary okay so when we talk about the artificial intelligence machine learning data science they are having lot of application for example i can apply uh, particular with respect to medical field uh, isn't it after i mean uh, i expect like after 20 years i think uh, the all the hospitalized will be like artificial intelligence attached like that okay so by this thing uh, by the time so we can make use of that uh, coding and that particularly so here normally when we talk about this data science like uh, normally we will be dealing with like data we will be dealing, even right now we are getting some temperatures like the uh, climate is very getting low right so we'll be getting we'll be dealing with data so after getting data analysis right we do some analysis like this okay by using machine learning artificial intelligence so it is look like uh, ocean but uh, i can cover all the things within this uh, uh, stimulated time but uh, i will be giving overall uh, uh, procedures how to deal with this kind of things in future okay uh, first i go for some fundamental like uh, okay so you know right basically i will be dealing with like google ball app there are various kinds of uh, platform is there available but uh, i will be preparing for only the app because it has lot of li libraries to be installed already guys yes, don't bother about that suppose we make use of like a uh, uh, python ideally or some other uh, like jupyter notebook okay so anaconda so we are having lot of uh, platform available for make use of the python programming but better we make use of this uh, google call up it's a best thing but only one thing that we should have internet connection that is only problem but uh, the computation will be very high like because it is like a cloud computing technology okay i will start with basically going for like basic concept of like python library like pandas numbe right and the c bone it's a very very fundamental to go for the machine learning and all so here first uh, i go for that like install it's the library so here nothing but uh, pip it's nothing but uh, python interpretation it's very important like this you would install okay so pip install pandas let's see what happen so pip install pandas sometime it takes time to install the library yeah it's getting so what happened is that uh, i am installing the like pandas library because i am going to deal with some data like one dimensional data two dimensional data normally machine learning will be reading the two dimensional like image robotics they are going to make use of artificial intelligence for robotics robotics can scan the pictures isn't it so uh, normally this kind of system will be dealing with like data uh, I, i think you know right when we talk about the data we classify in like structured data structured data normally when we go for like uh, dealing with in day to life we are dealing with not structured data only okay like satellite imagery a normal imagery okay so all those thing is unstructured data sometime we go for structured data also okay i installed now i want to check it up like Uh, import now you are importing the import import pandas field isn't it import pandas as bd i am uh, giving the uh, instruction to the computer you have to import the bd after installing okay now i want to check it up the version okay so pandas dot double hyphen version
so actually here it is giving some error okay uh, what happen is right i am giving like import pandas as pd but here it is saying pandas is not defined okay so uh, what you do is here you can do like uh, do like like pand pd because i already given like import pandas as pd right so pd dot version okay pd dot hyphen version so let's check now okay you got it 1.3.5 that is the version we are using there okay so we, we we can do lot of uh, things here after isn't it after first thing you have to install the library see basically this is for the beginners i think okay it's not for the expert so you have to uh, import the library install the library then import the library isn't it how import it like you know like that import pandas as pd import pandas as pd next you go for like different kinds of right for example uh, i want to load the from excel file for example i am going to take uh, a data from the excel file okay so for example so here go to that file okay then he can upload the data isn't it for example your professor giving some data analysis to you okay we are going to make analysis some manipulation on the data okay how to do it just go to browse the data and uh, import the data here isn't it so here i am giving like um, so diabetes data i am using uh, this data i downloaded from the pima pima p i m e so it is a data uh, i mean it's like a organization we will be dealing for uh, medical data those are interested in biomedical analysis they may use of the pima data also so existing database actually suppose you are going with some project you will be getting some uh, parameters uh, from externally from the patient you can compare with the existing data also right so we do some analysis pima okay so where i got this data i download from the pima website diabetes okay p i m e so particular this diabetes uh, data will be dealing for women's data isn't it so what about that uh, different parameter like uh, glucose levels of this particular woman i mean particular patients and what about the glucose levels and the bmi only and the pregnancy like that okay so i loading okay for example i, I like data set for understanding data set let us run for understanding i am giving data set 1 equal to uh, what we can say pd dot read pd dot read dot so underscore csv then give the file name data set 1 data set 1 so it is giving a data set 1 on pd dot read underscore cd so i think you will give like now it is yes and we're reading data yeah it's okay now data set 1 so once it is once it's code is correct it will be giving like uh, tick value so understand right and also time computation within the one second it is computed see such a magic is there right within the second i can access the data from warehouse okay so such a technology we are having uh, so basically it is reduce our manual manual interruption this is what i am say that it is a disadvantage in future we are going to get from job loss also because of artificial intelligence machine learning okay suppose i want to uh, see the database like uh, data so on so let's see what happen yeah so we'll getting like uh, uh, that all the data is or uh, variables is given like pregnancy level and the glucose pressure insulin bmi diabetes age and cup here uh, when we talk about this parameter they are assigned like uh, those who are having the patients diabetes uh, mentioned as 1 and those who are not having the diabetes will be assigned as 0 they are mentioned 
and the length of the data is 768 rows and column. Better we can check it out. Uh, data set that uh, see. data set one. Yeah, I got it. So on data set one dot shape seven sixty eight comma nine. Okay, we are getting seven sixty eight rows and nine columns, nine parameters, isn't it? Like this, uh, we can check it up. For example, uh, what we can say data set one dot describe so we'll be dealing with like status list of the data like uh, what will be the count of the data minimum maximum and uh, standard deviations and 20 uh, percent of the value 50 percent of the value from your percentage okay uh, this kind of things will be used useful for our uh, uh, material method right description of the data okay And if you want to find the column, data set one zero column. So I don't want to open this uh, documentation actually basically. So I want to read in uh, in main platform itself. So we are having the parameter like pregnancy, glucose, blood pressure, skin, uh, skin thickness, insulin, BMI. Okay, so like this, we are getting the and also if you go for like uh, data set one, for example, we make use of like heads and tail also, right? Sometimes, okay, you know, I think, eh? head. You can read from the top and like this now, head and tail. You can make use of this also. Okay, if I put like head, I will be giving like zero, one, two, three, five value. See, this is a very important question for you, isn't it? This kind of head and tail will be very fundamental for you during the test phase. Sometimes they are asking the questions like that. Uh, for example, what they are asking is if they if, if, if any number is not visited here, if any number visited between this packet, what will be the output like that? Okay, it will be reading from five value. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like a 5 value will be reading. So even sometimes you can mention your uh, uh, number also. For example, I want to find out like 7 value. Okay, 7 column to be like displayed here, isn't it? And like that, whatever. And if you go for like tail, I will be from the bottom to top. Head will be top to bottom. Whereas tail will be from bottom to top. It's a very, very important question there. Basically, when you talk about the pandas, okay. So tail function, like this, okay. Like uh, from sound 67, sound 66, 65, 64, and 63. Okay, suppose we want to visit within uh, time that you can mention. So I am showing these kind of things, please. It's a very fundamental things. You are going to do some projects in with respect to artificial intelligence, these machine learning and data analysis. Okay, we'll be doing this kind of particular code, okay. Suppose uh, we do a lot of uh, thing also. For example, uh, sometimes we can go for uh, two one-dimensional uh, data and two-dimensional data, right? Series will be there. I mean, in Pandas, I think you are, uh, knowing about that okay so series and the data frame series will be uh, will be using for that one dimensional data whereas data frame will be using for two dimensional or in sense multi dimensional right isn't it so am i correct so for example they want to find uh, like uh, data set name okay, data set data set uh, one name like okay name
or you can say for example age yeah correct okay so data set 1 see actually here user defined for my understanding i put like data set 1 so whatever you want like to do we can assign over variables okay this is what variable name isn't it so syntax is basically this is what basically i change the pattern i think some of the may be very new to this program so the syntax basically here that this is what basically like this is what the variable name which is equal to pd it's a small letter that e underscore c is here basically the syntax for this uh, pandas programming okay so always you have to put like pd this is small letter only okay suppose we want to go for the two dimensional okay so data set same thing data set one and uh, you have to open name BMI so what are the values there outcome isn't it outcome is there outcome so bmi is a variable and a comma and outcome okay Uh, some got error sir some uh, network error okay uh, here so here data set 1 uh, and bmi okay so if you want go for other variable also you can uh, do it right for example you can make use of glucose also So here, uh, what I did the uh, data set one uh, <coughs> and. Um, reading the bmi value and uh, glucose so we can get like this isn't it so basically what i am doing is i am dealing with the data data in pandas okay in pandas so pandas data about the pandas it, it has series and data frame so we can make use of uh, for processing of series data as well as the multi dimensional data like that suppose uh, if you want to find out uh, like or you want to change the series or you want to do some data frame 
for two dimensional so we can make it as a function dot series isn't it for example let us consider like doing like sir that screen is not visible sir one black uh, screen is there actually okay sir So now, sir. Sir, now it is visible, sir. Okay, thank you. Sir. Sorry for disturbance. Sir. I think I, I think uh, some problem are there. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So we go for some uh, series also and also data frame. Okay. Here, what I'm doing is uh, same as input and as PD. We don't want to put again and again, but for understanding purpose, I'm putting like input and as PD. Then I'm declaring some variables like a equal to some nine four. And here, uh, user define variable, isn't it? Data set equal to here it is a function starting pd dot series a, isn't it? So it's very important. It is displaying one dimensional data. Okay, so <clears throat> so nine four like that. Suppose you want to go for index sometimes. Here, like what I did is them uh, some uh, make it is a series or series. Here I, you can get the variable a here. Then we make it as index here. You know, I think okay. So not something like that. We can just like so number ten, number ten like that. Okay, already given. So the index is given like that. Okay, so here I'm declaring the variable a equal to seven nine four, and uh, and user defined variable is data set. Then here it is our series, okay. pd dot series in which index is given to the variable a. Okay. Okay. So what we are getting is here uh, getting like index number one, number two, number three, and seven nine four. Then we got for the uh, data frame. Here the data frame is given like that. Uh, pd dot uh, data frame. So as it is, I am declaring the variable here. Import pandas as pd, and user define variable data, and giving like I am creating the two dimensional like that, isn't it? So name uh, something like that is given. Okay, so whatever you want to give, like then you can read the pd dot data frame is very important. Okay, so pd dot data frame. So we have some rules and regulation for uh, uh, Python, right? So there is a some rules and regulations for uh, declaring the variables. Okay, so procedure will be nine. So here data is a very capital letter, and uh, don't want to put face, and uh, you put like f. F is a frame. Okay, here capital letter is will be nine. Okay, so that pd dot data frame. So ultimately we will be creating the two variable, two dimensional variable like that. Okay, so index is given like name and color. Suppose if we go for uh, like uh, check it up in n value. Uh, for example, you are doing some database. Okay, so there may be like the check value. I mean, null value may be there. So if you want to find out the null value, 
uh, just i put like data set 1 and uh, these values so whether it will be like check it up whether it will be null value or not so basically when you talk about these data sets there is no null value thing uh, null value that is why i'm mentioning false like that so it is false coming means or basically there is no null value like that so right. so what i'm doing is i make use of the pandas library i make use of some of the i instruction to that data sets i'll be check it up because these things are to be done so before doing this any kind of projects using the data artificial intelligence machine learning and data science and also we go for uh, like um So when you talk about the database, right? Uh, I think it will be dealing with uh, uh, diabetes data for women. Okay. So now I want to find out the percentage of the people of that affected for the non diabetes and non diabetes. Okay. So how to check it up? Uh, just to declare variable like that. For example, here I'm like uh, <coughs> dia is given, it's a variable for diabetes. Then I have to find the length of the data sets. Okay. Here I putting like length, isn't it? Length of the data sets. Length of the data set one. in which isn't it in which data set one outcome is double equal to one right so we'll be segregating those are the uh, patients will be having the outcome is one that will be segregated so you should know the difference between the equal to and the double equal right so here i'm putting like double equal because it will be find the, uh, it will be segregate it will be extracting the informations those are having the diabetes okay i mean those are having the outcome is one okay i'm repeating again here is to find Okay, so whatever you want to do, for example, uh, like diabetes variable is there. Okay, or simply you can put there. Okay, so I have got the length of the data sets, in which data sets outcome double equal to one. Okay, so like this you have to do for uh, nine diabetes. so here uh, non dia for example i put like non dia and the length of the data set one and data set one in it same outcome is zero so just check it up yeah so we got it and uh, suppose we want to find out the the length of the data set of dia so we'll be giving like 268 okay so we know the total length of these data sets i think it will be like uh, 768 so 768 uh, length of the total data sets will be getting 268 rows okay maybe for diabetes isn't it then what will be the remaining value definitely 500 only let me check it up so non dia non dia So what happened is it's fine there. Okay. So what happened? So I'm not giving. Okay. So what happened is uh, we'll be getting fine there. So fine there plus two sixty. Now I'm going to add this to the total. So total equal to okay. I'm adding this dia plus non dia. So I'll be giving like seven sixty eight. So I want to find out the percentage. So percentage of dia equal to um, dia multiplied with hundred divided by total. Am I right? For I am actually basically I am finding the percentage of the people affected from the diabetes. Then it. So percentage dia equal to dia. And uh, multiplied with hundred, they will be total. Like this. So then percentage non-diabetes is equal to no dia. So product with hundred divided by total. So you got it. So, so for dia, 
சமா பெர் நான் what is today so 34.599 okay so like this okay. sorry my internet is very unstable so okay internet internet is disturbing me to deliver good lecture so sorry so i think i'll going to offline also sometime so that i can execute a, a better understanding lecture rather than this kind of people so i'm sorry for it Yeah, read three point one two. Okay. See, uh, it is uh, you, you don't want to do any kind of manipulation on the Excel where calculator and all. Okay, so simple do uh, simple script is doing it, right? So you don't want to find uh, you don't want to spend with the data analysis. Okay, simply we we have either we can use it or we can do dimensional do that or even property calculation. This is all right. For example, there are other libraries also there, like uh, what we can see.
Salva sir, you are muted sir. Okay, sir. Sorry sir, sorry. Sorry sir. Here I am introducing another uh, that is Numpy as Numpy, right? That is the same as it is, uh, BIP installed Numpy. And Numpy will be using for the uh, array, isn't it? So here, like I import Numpy as Numpy, then we can, uh, as it is like, uh, we can make use of like uh, Numpy for one dimensional, two dimensional, like multi dimensional array analysis. Here, uh, same thing is given uh, import uh, install Numpy as there, uh, you can give different. So here we are getting that 1.21.6, uh, right? 1.21.6 date. Here that is import number is numpy. Then I can give like variable name, user defined variable as it is. Then can give function np dot array. Uh, same thing, np dot series. Okay, like that. Uh, pd dot series, pd dot data frame. Then admit dot array. Like that you are giving. Okay. So now to go uh, give like that print TA. So simply you can give very name. It will be giving like array seven nine two like that something like that. Okay. 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 So here the same thing is given, uh, declaring variable a equal to np dot array. So this is uh, user defined 8891, something like that. Then I'm declaring again b equal to np dot array. I giving two dimensional here. So these are the things we want, right? Dimension of the array and uh, that, uh, what will be the size of the array, then what will be the data types and the size if and the size of the particular uh, database like that. Okay. So here, basically, when you talk about this, right, uh, this is called like a dimension of the array. For example, you need to offer this uh, B. Yeah. So we'll be giving the dimension of the B. So I think it's a yeah, dimension of the three, so two dimension like that. Okay. So best, uh, always you have to concentrate with these functions. Always we start with B dot. Submit nb dot nb dot like that. Okay, sns dot so bd dot data frame like that. So this is a very important thing that you have to know. Uh, not even this point that. Okay. So. And uh, what will be the size and data uh, data types and dimensional so everything is available here. So by this thing is. And even sometimes you can do some uh, arithmetic operation also in the array. It's very easy to do things. Okay. So here, so I want to finish fastening the time. That's why just uh, doing this. Uh, here, that uh, same thing is then I am declaring the array here 7992 and 161196. Then sometimes I said write e dot minimum of that value and maximum of that value and summation. I mean, summary of that value, some of the array also. Sometimes you can do it. Okay, here, uh, arithmetic also we can do like that. A is a user defined, same thing as input data array. Then we'll be declaring the variable here. Value is there, not really. Value is given. Okay, so we can do this also. Print A plus B, A minus B, A, a star C, and uh, A plus C also to be done. But here, some, some of the time, even uh, pointer may not be, we cannot make use of the pointer also. But some of the time it will be replaced it 
uh, in terms of array. Okay, in array, when you are de declaring this kind of array, we'll be uh, dealing with kind of mathematical operation directly. So sometimes we cannot do indirectional uh, confirmation also. Confirmation will not be done by using this uh, pointers like that. But we can do like that array based operations here. Okay. So these are the fundamental like we can do uh, based on this uh, library. Okay. So pandas. So whatever you want to do, just go to import the library. This is very much important. If it is missing that, uh, we'll be giving. Uh, then previously, if we go for that uh, sequence of the operation, we'll be getting error. We normally, when you go for this kind of model, a model. So model will be giving like sequence model sometimes. If we go for like CNN, if we go for neural network, we'll be doing a sequence. So uh, when you talk about the sequence, you have to display. I mean, you have to uh, give properly that all the database. So I mean, sorry, all the libraries to be given properly. What kind of library they are going to use? Okay, you are going to make use of two-dimensional like array. You should give it like numpy array. Okay, so numpy import numbers numpy. You are make use of the seed bond, isn't it? You have to make use import numbers seed bond. Then you can go for the pandas. After that, sometimes we can make use of database from particular. For example, I said no bima. So one kind of organization we are getting. So if you want to import from them, okay, you can import them from that also. For example, support vector machines. You want to import the data set from support vector machines. So you you want to import the concern library. So this is what I want to tell that. So. So it will be giving like minimum and maximum and some values of that. Okay, so we check it out that minimum of that value of two and uh, maximum value of the 96 and uh, summation of the array will be getting 150. So one thing we don't want to uh, uh, I mean bother about thing uh, that whether the data types right basically you don't bother about the data types whether it is the integer data type you don't want to do you don't want to uh, uh, declare the, uh, such kind of data uh, data types to be there. Okay. So no problem. Just you have to give it that uh, make it simply array. So one thing you have to concentrate that you have to concentrate on these these functions and these these how to declare the variable. Okay, you have to know the difference between this and this. Okay. Okay. Normally we will be dealing with this function in which. Okay. So what should be given like that? You have to give like argument. Okay. So argument is also sometimes very very important. We as normally if we go for like uh, I mean artificial intelligence, uh, uh, what we can say that analysis will be giving some time argument. For example, if we want to find out uh, prediction of the particular uh, number, okay, in which you have to declare this uh, argument, okay, so in which uh, you have to give that you have to concentrate that this kind of thing, okay, okay, so you have to know the difference between this and this. So don't worry about this kind of variables; doesn't matter. Also, once you declare it properly, we are getting proper. You get output correctly. Okay. So I can do live uh, arithmetic operations easily here. Yeah. Yeah. So here we'll be getting like a plus b and uh, subtracting the values. And uh, multiplication of the value and uh, division of the value can be done. Okay, just a declaring variable. Okay. Whatever you want to give, you can give no problem. For example, given like Selva, you know that. Maybe some beginners also there. That's why I'm putting for expert. No need, just like that for understanding purpose. Yes, some people may uh, confuse me. So this is also equally for index like that. So that uh, most of the people are not coming forward to do the programming basically, because they will think that the entire length, the length of entire script is they think it's a script. It's not like that. Okay, something may be the variable. Okay, so uh, don't bother about that. Okay. Okay, get it. Okay, 
So uh, just to revisit that, uh, then I can go for other applications. Okay, so what I did is I, uh, I had to install, whenever you go for Python programming, I mean in uh, uh, Colab, you have to install the library, but I recommend you to go for this uh, Colab because it has been already uploaded some library there. So lot of library available, more than uh, more than 10 to maybe 70 maybe, exactly, but you have to learn at least uh, five or five to six library, it's very compatible for you. So among those library, I recommend you to land first of all pandas. I have to thoroughly that pandas. Then you go for numpy, and other you go for sibon. Sibon also very important. Okay, to display the information in terms of picture. Okay, so land one by one. Okay, pandas. Then you go for numpy. Then you go for the sibon. Sometimes matplotlib also there. So both are similar things also. Okay, so both are doing uh, same thing only, displaying the uh, information in terms of picture. Okay, so sometime I want to display the information. For example, uh, if you want to, you are, you are reading the data set from the computer, from the particular data set, but I want to display the number. I want to display the number in terms of image. Then by the time we can make use of the seaboard, isn't it? Or matplotlib like, okay, matplot library is also there. Then uh, this is very important uh, script. So, okay, so data set, uh, this is user domain. Then pd.csv, read the files from this. To read the file from this, you have to make path from this place, file, then upload. Whatever you want to upload, you can upload. Okay, so if not getting upload here, you're getting error. For example, some biomedical engineers mostly they are writing maybe there and maybe use of different kinds of photo data sets like images, right? So they want to upload from this place. COVID-19 data sets maybe there, they upload from this place to this place here. Okay. But if you want to make use of from a particular uh, agency, okay. So I mean uh, authorized agency, they can make use of my script depending upon their uh, script they given. Okay, accordingly you have to import. Okay. So then uh, uh, these are the things I have done and uh, so another thing is also is one for that. Okay. And do I did some small uh, manipulation of the data of this. Okay. Then I display the information with respect to this. And I said this is a very important part for you. You want to display this uh, label here. Okay. Then uh, I, I talked about the number. So as it is, import number is MP. Then you have to import also. Once install, then you go to give import also. Okay, first install, then import. Then here I declaring me some uh, array, array operations like mb dot array. Okay. Then you have mb dot array like that. And also I have discussed with frame, uh, data frame and series, right? Data frame and series. For data frame, you have to put pd dot data frame and get the variable name here. Okay, get the variable name here. And uh, it's like pretty serious. So this part is very important for our placement purpose. Okay, they will ask what is the difference between this. And uh, you know, other thing I said, right? What will be the head and type? Maybe I think there are a lot of many students are there in time there. They they very uh, careful about it, these things. Okay, you don't want to do this kind of thing, but very careful this. Okay, you have to like what will be the head and type? I said already there. Okay, type. Same button. Okay. Yeah, so what will happen when I'm giving number, so time. Okay, so head and tail is it's very, very important. Okay.
Salva sir, your sharing started sir. Please wait sir, wait sir. Okay. I am doing it. Now. Now visible, sir? Yes, sir. It is visible. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I recommend you to go for these kind of uh, Seabone uh, data visualizations. Very, very important for us, right? So you have to do a lot of files. Maybe uh, this may be applicable for uh, research people, right? Research people, maybe they like, uh, you know, the different kinds of data you to display the information. You know, it's very simple to publish the data in any kind of VCH paper. What they do is, right, if you know the Python, they will uh, do different kinds of plot. Okay, they will publish it easily. But people may not know, I mean, those are the people who are not aware of the Python. They'll be uh, knowing that it's a new thing to them. It is not really like that. It is really existing one only, but they know the very well basically from the Seaborn particular library. Okay, so uh, once you get this kind of code, let me share this uh, code also to you. You can make use of it also. Okay. For example, uh, Right, I'm loading the data set, please. Okay, I think you have to change the variable. Mm. Okay. Yeah, another thing that you can go for the pair flat also is very important. Pair flat. This lab, yeah. yeah, this part is very, very important for you. Okay. Normally, for research color, I recommend you go for this kind of okay. So, dealing with some kind of parameter with your research, okay, then you can make use of this pair flat. Normally, this is what they wanted, right? Uh, what will be the correlations, correlation between the two variables? Suppose if they make use of like uh, water quality data, okay, something like that. Uh, mostly, they may application oriented, uh, remote searching oriented uh, applications, right? Maybe the CSID people, they make use of this kind of. Uh, Data analysis. So better we can go for this kind of uh, task for this data. What will be the relationship of two variables? Okay, frequency and outcome, like that. Okay, glucose, blood pressure, like that. You can make these different kinds of uh, variables. Like that. So you can uh, display the information uh, depending upon your uh, original research, then display the information to the uh, journal. Then that's up easily. So this is what they need basically. Okay, instead of go for the Excel based plot, uh, plot they'll be looking at this kind of plot only. Yes, the pandas and uh, I mean, Seabone will allow different kinds of plot. Isn't it? Sometimes, right, two dimensional uh, plot may be applicable uh, in previous, but nowadays we have made use of uh, uh, in surface plot also, like three dimensional, like four dimensional, something like that. So everything to be done here in the Seabone. So very, very familiar this kind of library, Seabone. It's much important than. The uh, pandas and uh, and uh, lumpet. Okay. However, 
uh, you should learn about both things, both the pandas and uh, Nambe. But sometime uh, for research color, I I recommend you to go this kind of uh, package is very compatible for. You. And like and even histogram also be great. Histogram also be done like this. For example, like giving like a uh, come. Here I'm not putting data set because I'm declaring variables data set only. So because you don't confuse with data set one, data set two like that. Okay. So I give them like data set only. That's why giving the data set okay, here, isn't it? So in previous uh, lecture, what I did is I put like data set one. Okay. Yeah. This is also again uh, uh, do it because these kind of things I'm doing uh, for uh, publications. Okay. So you can do this. This is very new plot to you. Okay. Here, like we will be getting output uh, outcome is either zero and one, right? So you can count like age and count number of people are count will be getting easily. Okay. I can change variable here. For example, BMI. So I can change the like yeah. So this kind of things will be doing like histogram will be seeing that uh, scatter plot will be doing even sometime regression also will be possible, right? Scatter plot and uh, this box plot also it's. Uh, uh, very different. nowadays right uh, the editor are expecting only flat instead of giving uh, right n number of uh, n number of flat right we can make it to be box flat also okay so you should do it nowadays box flat is uh, recommended right recommended by the many researchers many editors many experts they are recommending only box flat okay it is saves the place it is saves the place on the paper okay so box flat also be done like that Uh, here outcome is the output for the data set. Those who are having the diabetes one, that is called as outcome one. They are not having the non-diabetes. I mean, having non-diabetes, they are having uh, assigned as like zero. Okay, outcome. Yeah, we getting okay. So like this, you do the back slot also. So whatever you want to the plot, you can make use of this bone as library. Okay, so whatever you want to do, you can do. I think maybe uh, I can do like more than 30, more than 15 slot, I can do it by using this case. I mean, uh, C bone. Okay. So, regression also be the name. Okay, better we'll check it up. Exist age. Yeah. So we can go for the person output also between the age and outcome of the people. Okay. So better we accuse of the glucose also. So regression, this is it's very, very important to you for data. I mean, 
especially for those who are studying in uh, uh, quantitative based studies, right? Quantitative based studies. Okay, so this kind of things we can uh, give the inference, inference in terms of this result. This enough they accept it easily. Okay, so you can uh, give more information like right? when we go for 80 at the age of 80, I I think the count will be one, isn't it? But if you go for like 20 to 80, you will be getting right. So you'll be getting uh, a large number of people here, isn't it? Uh, large number of people are belongs to this, and also uh, the value falls away. We go level from I mean 75 to 125. I think normally uh, from the image, what is the inference is that uh, they are getting like pre-diabetes. That is what's saying there, isn't it? If you go for 125 and 25, you'll be getting low. But if you are from 75 to 125, it's, it's saying that it's a pre-diabetes uh, people. I mean, it is for the female data. I mean, uh, for uh, a female database, I mean, human database. Okay. So uh, the human will be affected, I mean, uh, impacted by the glucose in the age of that uh, 20 to 30, highly, okay. So like this you can do, okay, so suppose we go for better last one, instead of BMI, value. Right? even the age and BMI. Okay, so age and BMI will be better. So one by one, I can display, Okay, so we will be getting a lot of luck, isn't it? Is there enough quantum homework is enough to publish the paper sometime? Okay, so I am uh, telling this again and again, this part is very useful for the research scholars in case they are using, regardless of any studies, uh, particularly uh, when they are going for the quantity based work. Okay, so make it as a database like this, like a CSV file, just put here and all this uh, script will be done. Okay. So according to our uh, uh, requirements, you could do the flat, scatter flat, back flat, whatever. Yeah. So I'm doing this, uh, this kind of flat for my studies. Uh, now studies are going on that only I'm doing the flat only, only. Okay, so dealing with the variables, among the variables, what will be the change in terms of pictures. Okay, we can get information from this picture I think we'll be writing the paper. Okay, so what, don't worry about that, whether it will be good or not, but please try to export with paper. Okay, this, this is what prepare, it's a very preliminary work for you. It's a very important. Okay, so don't think that you want to do good things, big things. It is not like that. So whatever thing to be real and uh, fact, okay, that is wanted. Okay, so you can do this kind of things. Uh, Seaborne, okay. Okay, almost I cover the uh, pandas, numpy, and seaborne. Okay, so I will go for uh, one more uh, project. Okay, so we'll be dealing with that. Please wait. Sir, the screen share stop, sir. Okay, sir. I'm sharing, sir, please wait. Okay, sir. Wait, 
so here right, after reading right i mean after landing the pandas library and uh, sibon library and the dampier library okay so this library very important right so after you can go slowly increase the length of the code okay one by one 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 see actually when we talk about artificial intelligence uh, machine learning and data science don't exploit the particular application okay for example for artificial intelligence maybe uh, mostly applicable for sometimes when we days it's for uh, uh medical sector right medical sector uh, you know right after uh, co- impact of the covid 19 right the artificial intelligence uh, i mean the trends will be increasing okay the trend will be reaching to the uh, particular doctor the doctor also want to study this because they want to uh, reduce these the manual interruptions just to put into the particular system okay they want to whether it will be uh, impacted by the covid 19 really they want to do even in future right uh, they like any kind of major operations need then to artificial intelligence only okay so like this uh, they want only one thing that uh, you should have data quality so very very important right the data quality because i believe in the particular data sets okay so after that i read the database and i am doing the output so thing is that the output is depending upon the what the input is given by the user right so what i am saying is that the the data quality is 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 one of the uh, challenging factor more challenging factor it's not only in uh, any field we go for any field like agriculture field or, uh, or it sectors also and uh, remote sensing field now it is geoformatic field okay so data uh, collection of the data is to be very real okay so that is why the most of the people are asking for validation part isn't it for agnal i am designing one or designing the one particular uh, system okay i am teaching something to the system okay so after that the system uh, is like intelligent sometimes rather than me also so very dangerous my dear participants very very dangerous of the artificial intelligence because it will be extract the informations so unfortunately i am not having the ppt since i hands on session i am not preparing the ppt otherwise i will be giving some example also okay so don't rest the artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning so i mean this oem saying this it will react to you it will react on you so you because that suppose you are doing some uh, personal database with artificial intelligence and machine learning after that the system you design no you design the system is is teach you is teach you or giving information to you okay so somebody may be right uh, uh, may be come to know that okay what you are working with the computer what is the requirements your requirements uh, can be identify the system easily then then your parent then sometimes the computer may be telling to your parents also he needs like this <laughs> he expect like this yesterday he did like this like this the machines because machine is like act as intelligent i think you understand what is artificial intelligence and machine learning that is why i'm telling that i am not discourage you but don't trust this this kind of artificial and data machine can it if you are if you are very good at your attitude if you are good at uh, a good smart work or uh, what we can say like uh, professional work you are very uh, honest then you may be study machine learning and artificial intelligence otherwise it will kill you otherwise it will kill you because uh, when you go for like data sets right normally we are willing like uh, here i am declaring the variable okay, declaring the uh, database here uh, scalar is one of these uh, data is available right i am not uh, browsing any files here isn't it like i am getting the database from the computer from the cloud okay from the cl- cloud computing it is somewhere else it is somewhere else in some other computer so uh, from the uh, scalar nan scalar nan okay i am importing data sets here low digits here like no this is what we can say like uh, classes there it is uh, information about the uh, classes like uh, numbers 10 class will be there and uh, the in terms of some type pixel also may be there right then then will be displayed in terms of pixel and what will be the total number of pixel like that then right? then what will be the dimensionality so all those things will be even better what you do is uh, best check up which is uh, sklan sklan so long okay sklan s k l e n sklan let us here uh, uh, this uh, no this system uh, able to uh, find the uh, given digit de- defined by the user 
so what i do is i make a system i am teaching that to system okay you got to do this kind of thing based on the input so that listen uh, my dear participants you have to declare two variables one is independent variable and another one is dividend variable okay there should be two things there otherwise we cannot get results because depending upon the uh, independent uh, independent variable okay, we will be getting that output okay so that it will be getting in training part okay here like that independent variable and output of uh, different variables okay independent independent variable and depending upon the different variable so this is what the output the output always depends on the input so now this uh, machines i mean this system okay is act as a intelligence so whatever the input is given it will giving this uh, result after that we go for the uh, testing of the data and we will be giving the finding the accuracy of the data see i am giving the database because i can give all those thing in two hours because it's like a thousand there are lot plenty of application are there plenty of application there okay i can do slowly you can do so i can learn within one year or two years so where, whenever wherever you find time you do small small things that you can learn it like that i learned okay so here what i'm saying is that it will be giving that uh, array information of the particular data is also okay for example this is image basically but it is uh, number is in terms of 0 to 10 right like a 10 numbers but suppose i want to display the uh, image of 10 okay so you have to import the necessary library okay necessary library okay so that i'm giving like data set image also see i'm giving the uh, the overall instruction of how to do the programming with respect to application so in in this slide you can see what i'm doing is i am making a model to be as intelligent to be predicting the input okay whether it will be giving proper input or not after that it will be like automated system whatever given to the whatever given by the user the system will be able to understand and giving the error sometime it is not possible but i am so that bigger i cannot achieve 100% as accuracy but i hope maybe uh, accuracy may be improved okay like 9790 like okay so till uh, i get more accuracy okay we have to uh, validate the model normally we are doing a neural network no okay neural network and whatever you are giving like uh, we are giving some assignments of the value epoch you can say epoch so i can change keep on changing and uh, till we reach the good accuracy like that you have to do here also okay so it is uh, important and also and because the picture the array is going to uh, involve here okay, involve here okay yes whatever the number is given it will be considered as a array okay so here uh, given is load of data set or load digits okay load the digits given so uh, the all the uh, digits will be loaded here okay all the digits will be given loaded here. yes i am going to give the system to then i have to check it whether the system able to classify the input i mean classify the i am not not classify sometimes it is it will be uh, giving correct input okay, it will be giving correct input or not okay so like that i have to do and another thing i want to tell that yeah so it's another part in well that this what is very very important part right okay so what is fit and uh, training part is very very important right? okay normally we are going for like uh, machine learning based work or artificial learning one okay first i will put a portion of the data to be uh, classified for like testing and as well as training part so then so training to be given after the test is given part okay so depending upon the train the test will be giving results okay so what i did is i i export library i will export library then i load the uh, uh, digits okay then i had to summarize this uh, for understanding of what i summarize the data set because you have to know okay, what will be involved here this is for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, okay so this is a rows and of the particular 1970 as is okay 1970 total Okay, total sample total I, i i it is loaded all these informations up to 1797 okay so for getting array informations i load uh, i am saying that it's very important import number as np 
otherwise we cannot display this information we cannot do anything okay sometime uh, the programming is uh, reactive on back side of that only okay we as normally when we talk about the image you can see the information visually but it is back side uh, the dna number is sitting right the dna number is sitting reflectance will be sitting there reflectance numbers value of the reflectance value of the uh, dn or value of the particular uh, raw data right it will be displaying so if you want to see those informations also to be considered okay so you have to summarize the data set very very important you have to check it up then visualize also like that here okay so visualization should be in like it's a import mat mat pilot as mat plot library as pilot see sometimes this is also very important for the student point of view they may be asking what is the difference between the seabone and the mat plot pilot library okay so these things to be carried out for uh, student point of view okay mat plot library okay so almost sometimes it is doing but sometimes if you go for image based oriented the image based oriented you can you can go for the mat plot library because here i i want to display the information given by the user for example this number is giving like uh, number 9 okay for example give a like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 okay so 7 cross 7 is here okay so on the sound sorry it's eight cross eight seven okay so this pixel is zero and this pixel zero this is zero and here when come across two it will be giving the white color so when we talk about the gray it's gray scale map strategy uh, there are like number zero to 250 right like 256 gray level okay so here it is like that only right some uh, gray level will be changing depending upon the information okay so we can predict like uh, Visually, I can predict like that it will be like compliant. It's a hand written that the that is why it will be um, shown like that, isn't it? Then corresponding information about arrival here, like zero here, zero zero. Then it will be starting eleven. So if we see the difference between eleven to twelve, we can see the variation here. This is eleven and this is twelve. Definitely there is a change is there. But when we come back to this place, like sixteen, 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 though it will be in sixteen, sixteen, sixteen like that, isn't it? Then it is slowly decreased. It is called set. So like this, uh, the uh, color coding variable will be lying between zero to two fifty five. Like it's very important point of view. Okay. For that, you have to import this library. Import mat plot library dot py plot as plot. We don't want to do again and again as this thing. That's why I'm doing this. Okay. Here, like plot, just that's it. Plot dot gray and mat mat plot mat show like that here you don't want to do like that mat plot like again and again okay i given already that is why these things are explained here then the segregated data sets for uh, training and uh, that so here uh, training and the testing part like that it is very important things you should know about x train and x train and y train like this bit like okay this part X train comma X train and Y train O Y train comma O Y train. Yeah, so we are getting some. Then you can print it. Uh, you can find this uh, shape of data also timely. Okay, for example, this is a training data sets and this is a testing data set. Even uh, majority of the data sets will be allocated for training and uh, uh, some of them are uh, allocated for the testing. That is why the segregated here, right? So among those total variables, okay. Among those three people, four fifty of numbers will be allocated for the test, and one three four seven numbers will be allocated for the training like that. And it's a very important, right? Uh, here, uh, this is what the training here. This part I said, now this part I'm going to access intelligence. Yes, yeah. I'm giving like that SVM class here. Here, that is model. Uh, I'm I'm designing one model from that uh, SKLAN. So from SKLAN import SVM. Okay, so this is inbuilt already. I'm not uh, doing any from the external file. So that I am make use of this uh, data set from SQLN, okay, and also as well as that classifier is is supported with permission. So from SQLN, import SQLN. It is a library. It is going to it is going to uh, manipulate on depending upon the coding, isn't it? So this is very important. From I declaring some model and designing model one, for example, it is user defined. Then like SVM, it is a function threaded. As that SVG, I am declaring this kernel size will be there. Okay, so this is a theory point of view. We can study right what will be what is support of information. Uh, okay, uh, what will be like how will how will this classify theoretically? After that, it come to practical like that. Okay, so there are different kinds of uh, 
kernel is there like linear kernel it's a very familiar so i am declaring the linear right then i put like x train y train for the model i giving like x train and y train like right this so this is what the next uh, predicting part okay so this predicting part like whatever is given this is used to find okay so you have to check it up whether it will be giving uh, correctly or not for the display purpose for example giving like 3 it will be giving 3 like that and uh, this uh, prediction for test data will be displaying here so predicting and uh, remaining part will be displayed you are assigning now for training and uh, test part the tp displayed here so then we go for the evaluation of the model right so evaluation the model tb you can find the accuracy level uh, it's a very important part okay the accuracy point then you will be declaring this point as accuracy 97.11 okay so uh, i never to do one by one it takes time to complete it will take one and a half hour to complete programming so they okay so but however i think uh, i'll be giving that uh, overall view that how to uh, make it as the project okay the same thing will be given whatever you find the uh, promise statement first of all first the promise statement then data collection is very important okay normally the people won't allow you to go for existing database so by the time you make use of the uh, collect the database depending upon your research okay you purchase the instruments or uh, you make use of the instrument in our other side i call it database then here make it as a database here okay then split into uh, testing part and the training part okay then uh, learn the algorithm i mean give the algorithm so many algorithms are there supervised learning and uh, unsupervised learning are there basically you know right Theor theoretical point of view okay so depending upon uh, the algorithm you have to declare that uh, intelligent system here make it is a model okay as i said it's a make it is a model in now here okay make it is a model from this place okay so now this is intelligent point after that you are evaluating it and this what i uh, then the model will be giving the 90s on part or in a can accuracy like that okay then you can go for different methods you can vary it because we want to compare the other model also right different kinds of uh, algorithm like kernel okay and gamma gamma functions they like that you still if you know this uh, support vector machine you come to know about this kind of things okay then so, uh, i got to find this uh, accuracy of that model also you can compare with the results and they will be presenting which kind of algorithm which kind of machine algorithms are giving that uh, good accuracy or not okay so like this you have to do Wait a second, please. सर शेयरिंग स्टाफ पर सर प्लीज वेट सर आई एम टेकिंग अनदर प्रोग्राम इन दिस एक कम इस
so clustering is also now it is uh, uh, you know very important uh, analysis they, they are doing particularly that uh, that information people and communication people they are using this uh, uh, clustering techniques okay so cl clustering of this really very normally you know there are uh, two things are there like supervised and unsupervised in supervised normally we'll be giving like training pixel will be given isn't it but unsupervised normally the system or the particular uh, uh, computer right and the computer is of taking the training is act as a training and it will be in the output okay like that okay so uh, clustering is sometimes maybe uh, applicable for financial aspect so it is right many people are uh, encounter with financial aspect based research okay what will be the uh, customer relationship with uh, which particular financial aspect uh, whether it will be uh, digitization there okay like that uh, they are studying uh, they are studying so the uh, that uh, you know uh, clustering is very important also like it's clustering to be done uh, uh, with with different kinds of algorithms to be done isn't it so i get to do uh, different kinds of uh, algorithm to be given for your given data okay so as it is right that is the input uh, kind of security then input number is np and the input mat flat type space these are things i needed okay so uh, this to be thing uh, it is the things so must be okay you have to give okay you have to load the data sets so here uh, there to be that is csv okay that csv yeah it is right hmm? so summary data sets i said not uh, sometimes very important to go to see head and tail okay yeah so here after declaring the library okay and uh, uh, read the collection of data sets okay, then it is uh, you have to optimize kali is very important i think i would take some theory also like now that is uh, wc this is very important okay so clustering you have to i think uh, the uh, we studied about this kind of theory i think right i don't know about that wc ss so like a theory you can go through it it will be finding the uh, optimist kali for that Yeah, I think Mr. Kavali, this uh, WCSS, it is kind of theory. Okay, so you go through it uh, in artificial intelligence data science. Maybe uh, like I will be getting this kind of algorithm. Okay, WCSS. Okay. Uh, after that, I want to find the, uh, the you can find the clustering value also. I mean, it will be the optimized optimized value for your data sets. You can find this from this clustering. Okay, so finally, we get more output also. Right, flat. Hmm? so i uh, i want to show this kind of many things i want to show but uh, i mean uh, for me the uh, it's uh, two hours not enough for me but if it will be like offline sessions i'll be giving more applications so uh, even to go for like agriculture based work we will be doing lot of work with this artificial intelligence data science also and the medical field also can do lot of things also, right but this kind of uh, thing is uh, very uh, primitive work for you maybe initiate to you okay so hope uh, this lectures will be useful for you Okay, so if I have the time in future, definitely I will take uh, uh, many many uh, application based coding like okay, so various algorithm there. But here uh, I am not uh, covering all those things in artificial intelligence. But I uh, covered that preparatory okay, preparatory things for doing your projects. Okay, so it's very simple. Uh, whatever the doubt, you can ask me in the mail. Okay, so I give you a contact number. Okay, I'll give it. Okay, so contact me, and also I'll be giving like uh, uh, that external help also like uh, project help, right? If you want to do do the projects in artificial intelligence data science, 
I come with my uh, institute. Like uh, I will be working in the uh, MG University. Okay, so I welcome you all for this doing any projects. Okay, under my guidance, I will help you definitely. Okay, so I can do all the things. So within two hours, forgive me. So I hope uh, this webinar is very useful for you. So don't think that it's very simple to learn. Okay, thank you, sir.